one an honor. I mean that. Hallelujah. I don't say that generically. What an honor to be with you, precious people, tonight. I feel such energy in this house. And love. And peace. And joy. And righteousness. And power. Spiritual authority. I feel it in this house. Folks, that's the kingdom of God. That's the kingdom of God. You know, the Apostle Paul said in two verses, everything that could be said about the kingdom of God. And, uh, and you can look the Bible over and never find more than these four basic components of the kingdom. And we just mentioned them. Romans 14, 17, he said the kingdom of God is not. So get your mind off of your dinner afterwards. It's not meat and drink. But it is righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. How many knows you can't get any one of those three out in the world? You can't get righteousness out there. You can't find peace out there, folks. You can't find joy out there. Happiness may be the result of happenings, but you can't find joy out there. That's a spiritual force. And, and then there's one other verse, 1 Corinthians 4 and 20. The Apostle Paul again identifies what the kingdom is. He said the kingdom of God is... First, he tells us what it is not. It is not in word, but it is power. So we, we would have to conclude that the kingdom of God in component form is these four things. Righteousness, peace, joy, and spiritual authority or power. I was thinking a few minutes ago when this dear sister came up, and was uh, ministered to, I was standing there as the brethren began to move towards her, and because I'm uh, the new boy on the block, I thought, I'll just stay in the background and agree with them. But as I was, I stretched my hands towards her, and as I began to just pray in the Holy Ghost, yes. I felt, <laughs> if you can feel, the anointing and power. I felt the power of God go into that woman. And the Holy Ghost said to me, her need is met. Her need is met. Folks, there's power in this place. I believe anything can happen in this house. I really do. I believe that righteousness, which is a kingdom... Uh, Attribute. I believe that righteousness is flowing like a river Glory. across this place. Glory. Glory. Yes. I believe that peace is flowing like a river Glory. in this house tonight. Yes. I believe that joy, yes. joy. Yes. How many knows the body of Christ needs more joy? Glory. There's been a lot of heaviness in the church world. And too many people looking like donkeys sucking marbles out of gopher holes. Long face Christianity, you know. And the world looks at us and says, I don't think I need what you got. We need joy that comes through the Holy Ghost. And I believe it's flowing like a river. You can have all the joy you want tonight. And I believe that a Authority, power is flowing like a river in this house. Do you know, really? I, I, I mean that with all my heart. I believe you could, you, you can put a draw on anything you need from the Lord right Amen, brother. now. Amen. Why don't we just lift our hands? I don't know what you need. Let's just put a draw on the Holy Ghost. Let's just put a draw on, on the presence of the Lord. Lord, you know what everyone in this house tonight needs. You know, Lord, what everyone needs. And we just put a draw. Lord, we can't get this out in the world, but we can get anything in this place right now that is necessary for man's spirit, soul, body, emotions. Heal, I pray, in Jesus' 
Just worshiping Lord so beautiful. Come here. Amen. Come here. You know, while she's coming, I want to say to this gal that came up for prayer, dear. Yes. Yes. Kelly. I, I sensed, I Kelly. felt such an impartation, a deposit Amen. of God's grace, love, presence, healing, restoration flowing through you. Listen. You will never be the same. Amen. You will never be the same. And every time, and, and don't minimize the importance of you coming to the house of the Lord Amen. often, as often as you can. And every time you come, God's going to add to that impartation. Add to your spiritual perfection until you're walking in victory and freedom like you never thought you could. Will you, do you receive that? I know it's I know it's I know it's going to happen. Honey, what's your name? Huh? Marianne? How old are you? Nine? The Lord really was touching you, wasn't it? Lift your hands to Jesus. Stretch your hands toward little Mary Ann right now. Lord, this is so precious. As I looked over there and saw you touch and minister to this precious girl, Lord, your hand is upon her for good all the days of her life all the days of her life. You have an agenda for this precious girl, Lord, that is just incredible. And I thank you that you preserve her and protect her all the days of her life. Don't let any strategy or plan of the enemy prosper against her, I pray. And I speak blessing and anointing. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if you have the Holy Ghost here, but if not, go ahead and just receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Lord, praise you for the anointing. Is this your son? She your daughter? Isn't this precious? Amen. It's just us and Jesus here tonight. Lord, from the crown of her head to the sole of her head, just pour yourself into her, I pray, in Jesus' precious name. Father, I thank you that she's a bright light in the school system. I praise you, Lord, that she's a cut above all of those around her. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Holy Ghost, just get all over her. And don't ever let her. Don't ever let her be average, Lord. Don't ever let her be average. Don't ever let her be passionate. Lord, give her passion. And may she live with passion in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Bless you, Lord. Mother, I bless you in the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you for the impartation. Lord, something wonderful. Honey, there's been a deep desire in your heart that is even deeper than your prayer. But don't be afraid to ask the Lord for anything. I see the Lord a hook in the jaw of someone close to you, and they're coming in. They're coming in. And your heart is going to be made to rejoice in the goodness of God. Stand fast. Stay true. Oh, the bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Is that all right? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, come on. Just stretch your hands to the Lord. And just 
bless them. We call it synergism, the energy of the home. Praise you, Jesus, for the impartation. Oh, praise you for the anointing. Praise you, Jesus. How many knows that he can do more in a moment than we can do in a lifetime? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, folks, how many realize that the most normal, natural thing with the Lord is to bless his people? Amen. Let me rephrase it. How many understand that the most normal attributes of the Holy Ghost is peace? and blessing and healing now listen if he lives in you which he does why don't you just let him do what's natural for you isn't that precious folks we come into the house of the Lord sometimes we clap and raise our hands and the Holy Ghost is in us and we just still struggle we're still pushing. We're still, you know, surviving. Just trying to get something. The most normal thing for the Holy Spirit that lives in us is to bless us. Come on. To heal us. Come on. To empower us. Amen. To fill us with peace, joy, righteousness, and spiritual authority. Do you realize this is a filling station? Yes, sir. And we're going out into the mission field in a little bit. Come on. And beloved, we're just filling up so we can pour out Amen. out of hurting world. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. Only God knows what tomorrow holds for this precious little girl. But he equips us. And he's equipping her. Hallelujah. And her mama. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I want to say something. As I sat there and stood here tonight, I feel so humbled by the presence around me. And the thought came to me that there are hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of years of experience in the ministry sitting right here right now. Amen. It's true. It's true. Wow. Wow. God bless you. We're in this together. I'm on your side. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's never let the adversary divide us. We need one. We need one. The most marvelous experience of the ministry is right here. Pray for me. Yes. I'll pray for you. Yes. We're going to make it. Amen. Amen. This is a crazy hour that we live in. Amen. But uh, God's got a powerful remedy. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Gals, aren't you these played by ear? Do you? We can do whatever you need to do. You're the pianist here? Uh, there's a little chorus that I'd like to uh, sing. And I don't know if you know it. All the glory of his presence. We uh we was in a we were scheduled for a four-day revival in Ohio a couple of years ago and it turned into two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks and how the Lord poured out of his out his spirit. I mean just an incredible breakthrough move of God. This became the theme course of that uh, of that revival. And I just want you to sing it with me if you know it. Hallelujah. It may, I don't know here now. Oh no, I see. Oh, the glory.
recognize Amen. that there's been an emphasis on the Holy Ghost Amen. in this house tonight. Amen. Our brother came up to receive the tithe and offerings. And his admonition, his exhortation was on the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. Pastor came up and there was an emphasis on the Holy Ghost. Amen. Prayer that the Holy Ghost would just fill all of us. Amen. I want us to sing that little chorus. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this house. All right? Do you know that, dear? Holy Spirit, thou art welcome.